Folks, we got a great day today. Grab yourself a warm cup of coffee and let's dive right into the video. This is the Echo Dot fifth generation, the Echo Dot. Echo Dot is smaller than the Echo. Echo is the big one. This is the Echo Dot, which is your nightstand table next to your kitchen, next to your Keurig, in your office, in your shop, man cave, very small device, the fifth generation. I own the second generation, don't know where it is, third, fourth generation, and now here's number five. Number five is designed the same as number four, and I actually got this deal for Black Friday, depends on when you're watching this, but they actually threw in a free Philips Hue light, I think, I don't necessarily need it, but cool nonetheless. I could always re-gift that for Christmas. So first and foremost, is it worth the upgrade? We're gonna get into that, but the things they have changed on the Echo Dot 5th Gen from the 4th is they have improved the speaker quality. You can start routines with motion paired with compatible light bulbs, like the provided Philips Hue they gave me in my Black Friday deal. Thermostats, your Echo Dot lets you control your smart home using your voice, motion, or indoor temperature create routines to turn on lights or play music at a scheduled time or when you walk into a room. That is very interesting. I'm gonna try to set this up so right as I walk in my front door, Christmas music plays. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if my dog is gonna be triggering that, but we're gonna figure that out. Now, the fifth gen lets you tap to pause music or snooze alarms, which is awesome. So if you have this next to your nightstand, you literally tap the top of it to pause a song or stop a timer, or just snooze. Of course, it has privacy mode where you can turn the microphone off, and the speaker is a 1.73 inch front firing speaker. It has lossless high definition audio support. There is a built-in temperature sensor, and of course, motion detection that we've already discussed. They do make it in three different colors, and I believe they also have the digital clock format one as well which is a little bit more, but it has a digital clock on the front of it if you guys want to use this for an alarm clock. Now, something to keep in mind is they have not, since last year, they have not, since the predecessor, the fourth generation, they have not taken to note you need to match the plug with the color. If you order a white one, a white plug. If you order a black one, black plug, black one with the charcoal gray. They've done the same mistake, unfortunately, and for a black one, they have added a white cord. Not the end of the world if you do have a white wall, but matching cords just is better in my opinion. Small little brochure. Okay, again, this is the black color here. You have a mesh screen, mesh material right on the top, and then we go plastic all the way around the bottom, kind of in a uh, dome shape there as it levels down. Power input cable right here. On the back of it, let me just cover that up just in case it's attached to the internet, which it is. You have a soft pad around the bottom here. With On the top here is your mute for your speaker, your volume up, your volume down, and your speaker on. The cable guesstimation is about a four, four and a half foot plug. Turning it on for the first time, it will go ahead and the light's not picking that up, but that's nice, you know, obviously Alexa blue, where it's deep blue and then the um, little lighter blue light. We'll try to get some better footage of that light here. But it's trying to scan for Wi-Fi right now. Now, and then you'll go to an orange light for setup. You'll have to set this up through your Alexa app. All right, it was super easy to connect in the Alexa app. Okay, so the snooze on the very top only works if your microphone isn't muted. So let's go ahead and hit the top mute button right here. It lights up red and you have your red LED light down here at the bottom. You can hit it again and it will actually make a sound and then go back to no LED light. We hit this one over here. So this button up here is gonna be your action button. This will be your mute on and off, your action button. So if you wanna physically do it, what you do is instead of speaking, you hit it. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. Now she did say my zip code, but I did edit that out. And so again, you can either A, just roll over on top of your bed in the morning, hit that or just speech. I don't know why you would really need that action button, but it's there, I guess, for kicks and giggles. Again, volume up, volume down. I'll be editing out the trigger word, especially if you have an older device in your home. What volume are you on? This device is at volume six. Volume six, that does sound pretty good. Just off my initial testing, the speaker does sound very nice for how small it is. To be honest with you, Gen 4 wasn't too big of an upgrade from Gen 3, so I'm hoping this one definitely sounds really boomy and nice. Play Brandon Lake on Amazon Music. We obviously can't play too much, but let's listen in. Here is where I find my peace, where my soul is finally free. I'm not scared. 
scared to get drenched in your love. All right, let's try the pause function. Sounds pretty good though. Okay, so I don't know if it's because my fingers are cold, but the pause function is not working and not working at all. So I'm not sure what the deal is. You're supposed to just hit the top of it one time to pause the music. I actually had to use my voice to make her pause. So you're supposed to just hit the top. I'm definitely not sure what the deal is, but that definitely is not working because my microphone's on and the instructions on the app are literally showing you. You just tap it just like that and it's supposed to pause and play. All right, I'll be testing that out a little bit more, but that's a big design fail. Okay, well the speaker sounds good for the size, for sure. I've been trying real hard off camera to try to figure out that pause function because that would be really nice to pause that for snoozing in the morning, for your alarm clock, etc. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and set a timer. I'll let it do the countdown, and then I'm gonna see if I can turn it off or snooze it. Maybe it's an issue with music. I don't know. Let's find out. Timer for 10 seconds. We'll edit this. I set a quick 10 second timer, so it should be going off right now. So this is what happens when you do set a timer. I love this for kitchen timers, etc. So let's see what happens. Yep, you're supposed to be able to just tap the top of it to snooze it. So either I got a dud device. We'll figure that out a little bit more. What I do love these for, and my brother and I actually gave my mom one for Christmas. She uses it all the time for her kitchen timer, especially with the size of this. She has this right next to her Keurig. She asks it the weather in the morning. When she's cooking, she sets quick timers. When I'm cooking my macaroni and cheese, I set timers. Super easy. You can do multiple timers. You can let the dog out. And if you need to remember, or if you're watering your front or back lawn, you need to remember to turn off the water, a great device for that. Not to mention, sounds pretty good for a speaker as well. Alrighty, so I have it sitting in the corner of my office right now. It might be due to the temperature, it's actually a warm day right now. It's still not as sensitive as I'd like it to be, but let's go ahead and show you here. It just worked a second ago. There we go. with your hands in the air, keep them Okay, so that took quite a bit of time. Let me see if it's just a one finger thing. Nope, there we go. So it does work, but it's taking me like three to seven times to do it. With the next gen, they definitely need to improve upon that. And I do have this again in my office, which I do love, and I talk to it all the time. I ask it to spell things. She spells it out while I'm writing an email, super cool. And overall, it's been really nice just kind of sitting in the corner. Now, this is my temporary office, but these are, again, great for the kitchen. I'm going to be putting an Echo Show 8 in my office when I do remodel it. But again, for the size and the compactness, definitely sounds really nice. Has awesome features to it. Overall, thumbs up in my book. Once again, top link in the description box below will be this exact same Echo Dot 5, fifth generation. But just like all my videos, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, please go ahead and purchase on away. If you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button on the way out, helps the channel. Definitely subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, as well as all of my other Echo Show 5, Echo Show 8, 10, Echo Show 15. I've reviewed them all on the channel. We'll see you on the next video. My name's Chris. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.